dapat menyampaikan Islam itu sebagai rahmatan yang alami kepada semua. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And how's everyone tonight? And Elaine Good. Aisha here. Again, um, we'd like to welcome everyone here to our program tonight, My Journey to Islam. And once again, brought to you by Axin, an exclusive event, our monthly event. Yeah. So before that, oh yeah, Haji Jamal is in. How are you, Haji Jamal? Good Alhamdulillah. You. Thank you. Thank you, Elin. Very well. Very well right. and busy. Very busy. <laughs> good, good. Always busy. And we see a lot of events uh, from Axin. It's just yeah. one after another. Alhamdulillah. Well, so I would like to invite all our friends and fans, brothers and sisters who are watching us from Axin Facebook. So if you are on Facebook, Jom Kongsi Pahala. By just clicking like and share, you can together with us, we we'll just um, share out the program for tonight. All right, so I've seen some familiar uh, names here on our page. So let's keep on sharing. Right, so tonight, uh, the month of July, um, it's already mid of 2024. And the program is consistently every month, we're inviting personalities, and also special speakers and friends all over the world. So after having so many speakers from far, far away from many other countries, tonight we're coming back to Malaysia. We have a very special um, brother here, very special personality. Before I hand over to, to, to chat with him, um, he's not what we say, chalang chalang oranga. So he's our icon Mu'alaf Slango 2023. Yeah. And he's also the Johan Sharahan Mah 
Maharajan, eh Maharajan Mu'alaf Kebangsaan 2022. And also the panel penasihat akidah mufti Selangor. And now he's actually uh, doing a lot of dakwah activities, being also a restaurant owner and content creator. All right. So without further ado, I would like to invite our sharer, our guest tonight, Brother Rizwan Ong, to maybe a little bit of introduction about yourself first. Are you there, Brother Rizwan? Yeah, Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Can you listen to me? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, Alhamdulillah. So, uh, uh, so I'm so grateful for tonight uh, that I have a chance to share about my reverse story here. Uh, maybe some uh, that one journey in Islam. So, uh, actually, I embraced Islam uh, five years ago, about uh, February 14, 2019. Wow, just yeah. before COVID. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So, so actually, Valentine's uh, Day. Valentine's Day. Eh? Ah, yeah, Valentine's Day. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> but actually, that's uh, but actually that uh, I'm not planning. Uh, I'm not like uh, like people say, uh, setting a, a good day to to Shada. Actually, not. Actually, it's like uh, on that day suddenly I have, I have uh, such a feeling. I want to take my Shada lah. Sure. So so uh so so that was my feeling. Uh, that day, so uh, and then I just uh, I went to the Pejabat Gama, okay, uh, my club, and then I go, I just went there. I said I want to embrace Islam lah to the start. Actually, uh, the the situation is like this. But when I uh decided to shahada, actually I never learned about Islam. I never uh research about Islam, and then uh the Ustad. Uh, explain to me, okay, what is Islam? Uh, what is uh, uh, who is Allah? Who is Nabi Muhammad? Uh, I I feel like I I feel like I was understand okay the meaning, but actually now I recall back. Actually, I'm not really understand when I take the shahada. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so uh, and then uh uh forgive me, my English is not so good lah. So I try to <laughs> try to you, change English. <laughs> brother, you. Brother, you can speak in BM. Jampo lah. Actually, I better jampo Yeah, lah. Just speak Mandarin. Later, only two of us faham pula. Okay. So, feel free. It's a very casual chat. You can campur-campur, no problem. Yeah. So, uh, actually, how I met Islam. Okay, how I met Islam. Uh, uh, just because I uh, I know my uh, wife. So, I just, at that time, not with my wife lah. So, actually, uh, my very simple reason uh, I think uh, mostly all the Malaysian Chinese they embrace Islam. Uh, they have the same reason with me lah. So we just want to get married. Okay, you want to get married. So uh, the the only way for a non-Muslim to marry a Muslim is we have to become a Muslim. That's the only way in Malaysia. So uh, and for me at that time, uh, I just feeling uh because I'm uh I think I'm a agnostic. Okay, an agnostic believer means like I believe in God, but I'm not so sure who is the true God, and I'm not so sure there's one God or two God or many gods. So I just uh feel like uh I'm not uh you say uh I'm not like uh ikat lah ikat dengan satu agama. Uh, yeah. It means like uh, I it means like I'm not the I'm not the follower of any religion. Oh. So. Uh, when my wife uh, told me, you have to uh, become a Muslim, only you can marry me. So actually, I think uh, no problem. Because as an agnostic person, I think uh, it's not a problem. I think I uh, better I have a, a, a religion. Uh, and it's better than I don't have any religion. Because right. at that time, actually, uh, my uh, situation, I got a bit of uh, depression. And then I'm I'm also searching the the uh the answer in our life. Why is, what what is our purpose of life? So I'm also searching. So so uh when my when I'm uh being proposed by uh, my wife that Islam is a good religion, so I think it's good. So I just uh agree with her. I say okay, I can embrace Islam. So uh so that's why 
at that time, I think I just go to register. Lah. Go to register. But after I register, actually I start to be I start to scared. Okay. I start <laughs> feeling I my feeling is so afraid. I so afraid that if I choose a wrong religion, okay, in Malaysia, actually it's very hard to uh quit Islam. Okay, at that time. Lah. So that's my understanding. So that's why uh after I take my shada, uh at that night I, I come back uh to home and then I start to scare. So I start to research about Islam. So after I shada, only I start to research. Okay. All yeah, right. so, it's so a, that's... this is a bit different from uh some of the speakers or guests previously. They research, do a lot of homework, then only they decide. But your situation is the ballet. You yeah. Shahada, then only you start all the work. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah. Interesting. Yeah, because uh some of the uh some of some of the Muslim maybe they, they are uh so maybe they feel like uh Sagan Sagan uh Bagitaus Morang like uh, I embrace Islam because of marriage, but actually for me, it's not a thing to be shameful. Okay, because uh, that's also one of the reason I start to do dakwah, uh, on social media, and I am more focused on Malaysian Chinese because I, I I just recall okay my own situation. Uh, uh, I'm studying in a Chinese primary school. After that. Chinese secondary school, and after I graduate from Chinese graduate uh, uh, secondary school, I just uh, work as a salesperson, and then my environment all is Chinese. So when I'm as a baby until I twenty over years old, I never have I never have more than five Malay friends. Okay, mm. so in Malaysia we we can we can say that. I have uh I actually I don't have more than five Muslim friends. So because in Malaysia mostly Malay is Muslim and Muslim mostly is, is Malay lah. Okay. So uh that's why for majority of the Malaysian Chinese, they actually uh their situation same like me. So for someone like us, actually it's very hard to meet Islam to have receive the message of Islam. Okay? If not through marriage, I think for me, it's very, very low probability that I can meet Islam. So, so I just think, if for others, okay, they, they don't have Malay friends, they don't have Muslim friends, and then uh, they don't feel like religion is important in, in their life. If you don't have someone to tell them your purpose, in, uh, your purpose of life is to worship the only one true God. If yes. don't have the message reach them, actually, uh, they 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 won't accept Islam. Actually, so 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 this is what I'm thinking. So that's why, uh, this is also one of the hikmah of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Okay, so for Chinese Malaysian like us, because of marriage, we meet Islam. Okay, so but there's the only one difference is like someone they they want to. Uh, they they want to become a Muslim because because they want to marry you. They want to get married, but after marry, they stop learning, they stop researching about Islam, they they stop trying their best to be a better Muslim. Yes. Uh, but because of uh uh my my own principle, actually, uh, I'm a person is very bad in lying. If my religion is the wrong religion, it's very hard for me. Let's to tell other people uh, my religion is the true religion. That's why I, I need to do research. Okay? But, but there's a uh, very interesting part uh, here. Uh, when I start to scare and I search about Islam, but in three months, I keep on uh, watching the videos. I keep on uh, do the research. So after three months, uh, I decided I have to do dakwah. Right. Brother, I got to chop sekejap. Okay. I have a question here and also okay. uh, asking on, on behalf of some brothers and sisters here. Okay. Now, you say research, right? So, I do come across uh, some brothers and sisters who want to learn. And so, the question here is, when you say you start do research and start 
want to know more about Islam. So how exactly you do it? Like through what channel you go for class or you go online? How, how did you start? Okay, so uh, at that time, I, I, just go, I just go to YouTube and I search about Islam. I search about uh, Chinese Chinese uh, orang Cina jadi Muslim. So 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 that's why at that time a lot of content about mu'alaf, uh, about Chinese Muslim, about some brother sister uh, sharing their story just pops up, pops out in the YouTube, and then I just keep on watching. So I also uh, feel very touched, uh, with some videos, mm -hmm. some of the stories. Uh, they get kicked out from their family, and then they sacrifice so much. Okay, and then they just hide their religion, their faith, okay, because they 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 afraid their parents uh, didn't like it, their boss didn't like it. So after I, I watch all those videos, I feel so calm in my mind, okay, in my heart. So I feel like it's not only me. Actually, <laughs> okay. there's a lot of Chinese Muslim sisters out there. So I think nice. this is all this is a very, very uh, uh strong uh 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 feeling. Okay, that can calm my mind. So at that time, okay, right. but because I'm a very, uh, uh, how to say, uh, Li Zi ah, rational, rational. Okay, I'm a very rational person. So touching part is not enough for me. Not touching emo, part, but rational. Ah, uh, yeah. So the touching part maybe can satisfy me maybe for one or two days. After that, I will start a lot of uh question. Okay. Hmm. That's why uh, at that time, I researched a lot of comparative religion content about why Islam is the truth and why Islam is so special uh, from, from the other religion. So what's the difference between Islam and other religion? What's the similarities uh, between Islam and other religion? So I started to research, uh, research about this. So after I learned, uh, after I, I saw uh, the non-Muslim asking, asking the question to the Muslim scholar, okay. So the how the Muslim scholar answer the question. So I feel like, wow, that is very very amazing, okay. Because in Islam, almost all the question got an answer, and the answer actually satisfied me. Mm -hmm. So so I so I actually get a lot of uh motivation. So I start thinking, Alhamdulillah, uh, nasib baik, I choose the right religion at that time mm -hmm. My feeling. Okay, right, good. Just before we move on to the next, I also found a photo of you. Um, well, you look very different huh, in this photo. Not quite. <laughs> <laughs> Diploma <laughs> Islamic Studies. Um, can you tell us more? This is part of during your research, uh, Zaman Masa, you research? Uh, I think, uh, kind of. Okay, kind of actually can can uh because I'm still researching now, I'm still okay. learning now. So uh, but I, actually at that time after I watch a lot of YouTube videos, so I feel like I want to do that one. So when I do that one, uh, uh, some some of the problem uh just comes out. I think maybe uh some of the viewer here uh viewers here, uh maybe you guys want to do that one. So you 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 learn some that one technique from a uh, foreign country. Maybe from USA, maybe from uh India. So some of the famous pendakwa actually they have very, uh they have a very uh uh effective dakwa way, but some of the dakwa technique actually is not suitable in Malaysia. Correct. When you start to realize some okay. of the choice of words, or some choice of uh technique Q and A uh skill actually is not suitable in Malaysia because Malaysia got some uh, sensitive part we, we need to avoid. If we do that one, we have to maintain the harmony part. We right. cannot like too aggressive. So when I reached to IDT, IDT actually, actually is a, a, a center that organized by Brother Lim. So it's a very, very good organization. So they are very, uh, they, they doing that one actually is localized in Malaysia. That is suitable for Malaysian. So I just went to IDT center and learned about the, uh, Diploma Islamic Studies. So, uh, Alhamdulillah, I learned a lot. I learned about uh, the uh, about more deeper about Akida, more deeper about uh, the Fekka, okay, the Usul. So, so actually, that give me uh, a lot of strength. 
and and I I feel like uh I more well prepared to that one to local Malaysian non Muslim. Now so, question. Question, uh, sorry. So how long was it after your learning research so-called that you are confident and you start your dark work activities? Okay, like I say just now, uh I feel confident and I'm so uh uh I'm like so I would say uh, eager want to mm. do that one is after I, I I watch videos uh in YouTube for after three months. Three months. I read, yeah, I really feeling I want to do that one. Because you know that uh, if we learn a lot, it's like we input a lot. Okay? Macam kita punya brio masuk banyak barang boleh pecah. That's why okay. we, need, we, do, we need to do some output. Output. You yeah, need we need to output. sharing. We need to talk sure. to another person. So actually, I, I'm, I'm so eager one to do the sharing. So actually, I got share with uh, two or three my best friends. So so they they actually feel like very funny because the way I share to them is like I'm promoting a product to them. Okay. <laughs> uh, so uh and then uh I, I want to do that one. That's why I got approached to some of the uh that one organization. Uh, uh like this picture is I went to MRM. MRM uh uh, uh Brother Pridos Wong organization. So uh, that's why I joined their street dawa in Subway. In front of Subway. Mashallah. Yeah, so so alhamdulillah, uh, I just just do all the output what I learned from uh internet. So I just try to share, I try to answer the question, I try to invite them to the true religion, to the true path. So right. alhamdulillah at that day, uh got one uh, one of these Chinese brother, uh he took the shada. He took the shada. So uh but actually I think like uh uh when 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 we do that one because someone take the shada uh is the is the hidayah from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala okay actually it's not us uh like uh we are very good in talking but because uh because of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rahmat so I feel like very confident I feel like I want to do more that one so uh so so at that time I feel like when I when I start to think like I want to do that one, uh the only question that comes to my mind is uh my my knowledge need to be uh improved more. I need right. to explore more. Uh, that's why I go to uh, all the uh, NGOs and go to IDT to learn more. Uh, I hope that uh when we convey the message of Islam, we cannot just convey like what I think. <laughs> I think uh, Islam is like that, long, but actually it cannot. So so we need to convert everything is based on the Quran and the Sunnah. Uh. Understand? Right. So that is I, I can I can I can sense from your you know the way you 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 say it out, it, it's really you are doing it. Because only when you are practically doing it. And then you can actually uh story tell the story in a very very natural way, so but um also um quite if I'm curious, in uh, Mandarin is better lah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Okay um so during all this dakwa and also this uh street dakwa and all these activities right maybe is there um one or two incident or experience that I don't know if you have it on your mind like. Until today, it become gave you a very strong impression. You still remember, like, and how how did you overcome it? You know, like something that when you go that way and then receive um any uh comment or reaction. Yeah. Actually, uh, I think because I uh I always think that I'm not uh put enough effort. I'm not like try uh uh trying my best right now. So I sometimes I also like uh maybe I will take a take some rest for a few days. So I think I'm not hard working enough to do the dawa. Uh so for me I think the most uh unforgettable experience is when after three months, 
I researched about Islam and I feel like I want to do dawah, and I went to the uh MRM street dawah. So uh after that, I will I always feel like I want to do more. I want to share more. Okay. So what I'm thinking, I can start to do YouTube videos. Hmm. Okay, and then share to the Chinese community. So 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 my uh my special in my content is like mostly all my content I'm doing in Mandarin. Mm. Okay, because I want to uh truly uh specific share to the Chinese community, non-Muslim, and also the Chinese Muslim brother and sister, they can get some answer from my channel. So, but when I start to do social media, because in the first four years, in the first four years, actually I uh my my parents didn't know I embraced Islam. Ah. So when I when, when I want to do some videos and do some social media sharing, I always need to uh hide my face. So I just do some audio uh, audio sharing and then edit as a video. So actually the first few years actually is very hard for me to do sharing. I will I always want to do more. I also want to do faster, but because of this kind of uh challenge and also you say uh uh challenge uh, uh, challenge and also uh so that's why uh I want to do more but I also cannot do more. If I do more, my parents will find out that I already a uh, Muslim. So you at mean, that time I still scared. You mean uh the first four years when you do all the videos and everything, it was without your face. Yeah, without my face. I just wow. record the sound. Didn't, voiceover, didn't, voiceover. <laughs> didn't realize that. Nanti must go back to your your YouTube's and your TikTok all I must scroll back and see. They didn't really notice that. Yeah. So then yeah, so then until what after they got to know and all that, then only you started to low lian, show your face. Yeah, yeah. So uh, actually last year, last year about July, uh I start to post my video on Facebook. Mm. And then uh, uh my uh my parents uh my mom lah, uh, suddenly WhatsApp me, share a video to me, say hey, hey, this is you ah. <laughs> why why you become a Muslim? Okay, why you become a Malay? Uh what's wrong with you? Uh so but actually uh at that moment at that moment I feel like very scared, but also I feel like uh I'm very grateful because this is what I pray, uh what I pray, uh that I I, I hope Allah can help me uh to talk uh to help my situation now. So to let my parents know about my situation. So uh, uh I, I pray to Allah a lot. So I pray to Allah. I hope that uh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can soften their heart. If they found out when I embrace Islam, I don't want like uh because I, I heard a lot of stories from other brother and sister, their parents like scolding them la, mara la, puko la, ham tam la. Very drama. I want, yeah, I don't want, I don't want. So I just pray to Allah. I just pray to Allah. I just pray to Allah. Allah, uh, soften their heart. And Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. So when they fall out, and and at that night, I just uh go back to home. And then I I I try to explain all the uh all my journey in these four years to them. So Alhamdulillah, they just uh accept it without any. Uh, naik kan suara tak ada. Mm, no scolding ah, no. No no no, not at all. So uh, and and when they said like uh, we cannot eat together in one table some already, and then you you recite the Arabic one ah, you are not one of us already. Uh, so uh, I just told them, I just told them, uh, I still your son, I'm still your son, and then actually Islam, uh, taught me. To uh uh, I have to like treat you guys uh treat you and that better, and I have to show a better manner as a Muslim. So uh, you don't worry. I'm still your son. We still can eat together as long as you prepare the halal food, and I can teach you how to prepare the halal food. 
Right. Okay, uh, that's interesting. I, I, when you are talking, right, I want to ask you one question. Like when you dakwah to people that you don't know and you explain about Islam versus when you explain and dakwah to your own family member, your parents and your closest family member, do you have like any any different of feeling? You find okay. it? Yeah. For me, la, because I'm, I'm a more like a serious person. It's like I'm not like, how to say ah. Uh, uh, I'm a very, very straightforward. Actually, very I'm very straightforward. So my parents actually know my uh pattern is like that lah. So <laughs> last time because I'm still hiding my faith. So uh, uh, many things I cannot talk. Okay, but after they found out I'm a Muslim, uh, for me lah. If I want to dawa to my own family, I will be more straightforward. Okay. Uh, some other uh, another saying is more aggressive lah, mm. if to my own family, because I think like you are my family. I no need to hide. Uh, I I I no need to pushing pushing. So mm. I, I I I love like I just talk. Okay. Right. I think like uh, is that possible more than one God? Is is that possible that uh, actually, what you you do all the prayers, you do the sembayang, uh, you uh, now you sembayang the God everything. You are are you sure that <laughs> can can talk in space one? I I would just say lah. Are you sure your God is the true God? I will mm. be more more aggressive if, to my own family like that. You just ask so, them directly. Yeah, just, just, I just ask them directly. I don't need the pushing. Yeah. So actually, they also my thinking lah. I think like. They got a bit convinced lah when I share okay. it like that. So so actually I quite positive. They will take the shada in future, inshallah. Oh, inshallah. Yeah, so so actually I'm also planning that. Uh maybe we'll bring them to some of the activities that we organize, like mosque tour, everything. And uh the masjid China in Klang is going to uh open in August. So I'm planning to bring them to the masjid. Uh, to see the opening and then maybe uh, I already do I already done my sharing maybe need some help from other brother and sister some other mom because sometimes uh, we are there uh, uh, the parents won't listen to their own children, children. Like. yeah better they, they listen to others like. so this is also my planning like. that, that's interesting so yeah I'm sure they are very proud of you sangat sangat bangga they want to scold you also tak jadi scold when they look at your TikTok which already jump up to 220,000 followers. I'm sure your when your family member found out about your so-called wow, my son's so famous. Wow, such a, you know, great influencer. Uh, I mean, you know, very influential. And I'm sure they are very, very proud. And partly, they're also very touched. The Haru, like I'm very touched by your, by your, no dedication doing this. So now when we look at a TikTok, maybe a bit of um you want to explain to us like what what is your TikTok uh Rizwan Ong podcast? Maybe you can just tell us a little bit what can we see from your TikTok and what kind of concept or things that you normally share? Yeah, alhamdulillah. So uh normally uh in my TikTok or any social media, uh, Facebook, Instagram, social media, out of the social media, I'm posting the same content. So, but uh, what I'm focused is uh, Mandarin, Islamic, Dawah content. So, uh, my my targeting audience, two types, uh, actually three, uh, uh, but the main is two. First one is the Chinese non-Muslim. Okay. Yeah. So, when we say about dakwah, okay, normally, uh, uh, mostly the Malay Muslim will think that dakwah is like uh, we dakwah to our own Muslim community, like Malay Ustad will dakwah to uh, Malay Muslim. But what I'm thinking is like I want to invite more non-Muslim community to learn about Islam, to know about Islam. So my content is more focused answering the question or have a conversation with the Chinese non-Muslim community. 
Okay, but at the same time, uh, I get a lot of message, inbox message from some Chinese Muslim brother and sister. Okay, maybe they they just embraced Islam five years ago, ten years ago. So they feel motivated, like finally got someone in social media talk about Islam in Mandarin, and then can help them like bersuara lah. Because sometimes I will do some uh, uh, cl clarification videos. Okay, so can help the Chinese Muslim community do some clarification. So, uh, so my first intention, I want to do that one to the Chinese non-Muslim community only. Okay, but at the same time, suddenly I get some uh, Chinese, uh, uh, I get to know more Chinese Muslim brother and sister. And then we just form a, a quite large crowd community. So I also feel very grateful. Then at the same time, the, the third type of audience uh, is uh, uh, the, the local Malay Muslim. Maybe they, they want to do da'wah to their Chinese friend. Or some of them, like they just uh, marry a Chinese husband or a Chinese wife. So they, 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 they want to know how to da'wah more effective to their uh, spouse or their friends. So, so they will share my contents uh, to their friends and family. Uh, that's why, although I'm doing some Mandarin content, but I will put Malay subtitle. Okay. So in case anyone want to use my video to that one to their friends, they can, uh, uh, they can share more easier. Uh, I think that it's really, um, thanks for sharing that. Um, personally, I think this is really this is really very helpful. Um, you also help us answer uh, a lot of questions that we as a revert may not be able to answer to our family or friends. So don't know how to answer? Okay, look at this clip or this YouTube because uh, Rizwan Ong has the answer here. Properly arranged and answer in a very nice uh, interactive way. So I think that that's really very good. And also when we want to uh, for me personally, we want to explain about Islam to our Chinese, non-Muslim Chinese friends. When we speak in Mandarin, it's like straight away click the wavelength, the vibes, like straight away. Then until they will say like, eh, wow, how come you can explain Islam, not in Malay one, but Mandarin? I think that's what uh, really, really helps a lot. Yeah. So good job. And we look forward to receiving and watching more content that you're creating. Oh, wow. Right. That, that's really good. So I've been wanting to ask you from just now, uh, when you say you had to hide uh, or uh, what do you call it? You can't disclose your, your identity, right? Yes. So is there something got to do with the baju that you are wearing with the word silence? <laughs> Yeah, is this, what is this silence about? Ah, finally. <laughs> so, so actually, uh, I just uh, I just written a book, uh, that's called Silence. So, uh, inside the book, uh, actually, uh, it's a little bit uh my humble revert stories and my that one journey. So, uh, I just uh and and then uh, I think a lot of people, a, a lot of my like. Maybe Malay Muslim, they get to know me, uh, because I got did some videos, uh, sharing about the miracles of the Quran, but in Mandarin, uh, so that's why, inside this book, I also got record, uh, that few, uh, viral miracles of Quran videos, uh, uh inside this silence book, and also I got uh share about some. Uh, localized dawa technique to our Chinese friends and uh, friends and family uh, families. So, and why is so special about this book? Because uh, I think that everyone can do dawa, every and everyone need to do dawa. Okay, like uh, our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam uh said before, sampaikan walaupun satu ayat, just share even though one ayat, even though one verse. Okay. And then I think like uh it's not every person is uh extrovert. Some of the person they are introvert. 
but 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 they want to uh, but they they also want to do that one but they don't know how and then they they listen a lot of videos and they they watch a lot of, uh they watch a lot of videos and then actually they get very motivated but when they uh meet their chinese friends they feel like scared and then suddenly the question uh from the chinese friends they don't know how to answer so that's why in this book i want to uh, convey one message actually everyone can do that one even though you are silenced even though you don't know how to talk okay because inside the book i prepared uh the qr code qr code in all the important uh topic so when when you want to share to your chinese friends or family okay and then you don't want to talk or you're scared to talk you just scan the qr code and then you just share the videos because the videos uh is in mandarin i already uh, i already post in social media so you just scan the qr code and then you can share to your friends and family so actually this is a call to action book right uh so so uh i hope that uh in malaysia i hope the chinese non-muslim community uh, it's not like we we asking them all embrace Islam. It's not like that, because they want to accept Islam or not. Uh, is the hidayah of Allah subhanahu wa taala? It depends on Allah want to give them hidayah or not. But what we can do is like I think I I hope that every Malay Muslim at least they got one or two Chinese friends. If all the Malay Muslim they just start they start to share to their Chinese friends, actually is a very remarkable uh, remarkable number in Malaysia. So I think the the misunderstanding uh from the non-Muslim toward Islam will be reduced. So this is what I hope for. Uh, because at least at least when we share about Islam in Malaysia, uh at least less like uh attack from the non-Muslim, less hatred comment, okay, less like uh uh, like misunderstanding, like uh, some maybe the Chinese don't actually don't understand the Islam, and then the uh, Malays also don't understand the Chinese culture. So right. so we have to reduce all the misunderstanding, and then we can achieve a more harmony Malaysia. society, in Malaysia. Yeah. So because uh, Madeka is coming soon. Uh, that's why. <laughs> that's why I want to convey the positive vibe. Okay, so right. and then in the Quran, Allah will tell us what is the more better message that then you share to other people. You are a Muslim, so when we share about Islam, actually this is the most beautiful message that we can share to any one of our beloved friends and family. Mashallah, very good, very good. Uh, you 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 just so amazing. You have done a lot of work, and within short period of time, you've actually done a lot of things. And I'm really, really proud of you, uh, Brother Rizwan. You know, even the book, you even came up with the book. So, yeah, I wanted to ask, how much is this book and how do we buy? Where can we get it from? Okay, Alhamdulillah. So, for anyone who wants to uh, purchase this book, you can go to my social media, uh, Rizwan on Podcast, uh, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, uh, at the bio link there. Uh, I go put the bio link. So, you guys just uh, click the bio link. And then you can uh, reach to my website. Then you can purchase. Usually, it's very uh, it's not expensive lah. It's just twenty five ringgit. Okay. So uh, so if you uh, I hope that anyone uh can be benefit from this book. But at the same time, uh, we can uh, do more dakwa. If you support us, we can do more dakwa to the Chinese uh, uh especially the Chinese uh non Muslim mm -hmm. and Muslim community. Yeah. Mashallah. Right, so it's 25 ringgit only uh, for this one book. It's a hard copy. And I've just posted the, what do you call that? Uh, the order link on the Facebook as well. So anyone who would like to read about uh, Brother Rizwan's revert story and also uh, learn some tips and all that, how to do that, wah, you can always grab this book. I think it's really worth you know, uh, we support this initiative and also to learn and add on our knowledge as well. MashaAllah. Okay, good. So, 
so many things that you have done. Any things that we have missed or I didn't ask? You want to add on? Like what other things that you currently working on? Uh, as part of your, you no, know, your journey has been amazing. Yeah. So, uh, anything else that you do besides day to day? You do your content creation for your social media. You write books and you promote your books. And what else do you do? Uh. Actually, my my main occupation, uh, I I got open, uh, two restaurants. Okay, one is the Javanese cuisine, and one is Chinese cuisine. Uh, so uh, that's my main occupation, <laughs> uh, but uh, I hope that uh, yeah, the main purpose like I want to do more business, and then uh, to uh. To have a more stable economic situation because I want to do that one like uh effortlessly. I have to I want to do more that one. So so I hope that uh uh so 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 this is the main reason lah. Uh I want to I want to get some uh how to say uh, financial and uh time freedom. Yeah, because we when we want to do that one, we need time freedom also. Uh, that's right. why I I rather I I hope that I can do more bis I I can focus on my business. I uh, also follow the sunnah of Nabi. Okay, so be, besides of you doing that one, also you doing business. Very so, good. Okay, I'll I'll have to catch up with you to discuss some financial planning, the Islamic <laughs> way. <laughs> All well. right, so good. I I do understand what you said. Meaning um with a stable uh financial situation, income that it actually gives you more time to mm -hmm. work on the dark work activities that you want to do, yes. which is really amazing. And I, I just looking at this picture, Sambal Lalapan, Chinese Muslim Kopi Tiam, mm -hmm. right? So this is your core, as you mentioned, your core occupation, your job, mm -hmm. that you actually own uh, restaurants. And I remember seeing some clips that you also, uh, dark work, uh, using the food, I mean, talk about the menu and like, you know, some Chinese food serve the halal way and things like that. So I uh, think uh, that's another platform. Really good. But uh, where is this Kopitiam located? Uh, in Klang. Oh, in Klang. Mm. Right. right. So just near the new masjid. So in August, the masjid Chame, uh, masjid Jame China Klang going to open so you guys also can come to visit inshallah we will do some more tour in future so hope you guys join us mashallah okay that's nice so well good okay must it's not too far from my place can Very go nice. there all right good so well that, that's uh, a lot of a lot of things that you are doing yeah so um yeah we have about five minutes left i would like to uh, ask you maybe to share some, not say advice lah, but how would you encourage and also um some words that you want to um talk to our newly revert brother and sisters, um you know to to have maybe a more pleasant journey and also enjoy the you know their reversion uh, their journey after reversion, like what can they do. From your own experience, anything you want to tell them? Okay, yeah, inshallah. Bismillah, Bismillah, your Rahman, your Rahim, Alhamdulillah. So, uh, uh, in my opinion, in my opinion, uh, no matter how you start your journey in Islam, okay, like like I say just now, no matter you embrace Islam because of, because of Mary, uh, because of some weird. Uh, reason or because of any uh, no matter how you start in Islam but uh, maybe you because of you learn about Islam and then you embrace Islam okay but you need to keep on learning and you need to keep on uh, improve yourself and then you need to remember one thing is that uh your friends and family, uh, if they are not 
Muslim yet. Okay. How they look about, how they think about Islam is from what you present to them. So for your friends and family, uh, you are Islam to them. That's why we need to, we need to uh, behave ourselves. We need to show a better show a better image of Islam to our friends and family. Uh, so so it's very important. So that's why we need to learning. Uh, we need to keep on learning. We need, we need to uh, improve ourselves. So uh, in case that when your uh, friends and family they have some low point in their life. And then they need help. So they look at you. You are a Muslim and you are a very successful person. And then you are a very uh, positive person. So so uh, maybe they will uh, come uh, say, uh, seeing that. Uh, yeah. Maybe they will attract attract mm -hmm. them to learn Islam from you. So it's very important, and especially for the Chinese revert, because your friends and family mostly, mostly are non-Muslim. Uh, this is this is different from the the Malay families. They are uh Saudara Malaysia among Muslim, but for the Chinese revert, mostly their parents, their their siblings, uh their auntie, uncle, all is non-Muslim. So so when they want to know about Islam. Surely they will come to you first. So are you well prepared to answer all the uh sensitive questions? Right. Yeah. And then uh are you ready to present what is Islam to them? When they, when they ask you what is Islam? Who is Allah? Okay, who is Nabi Muhammad? So are you ready? So I think this is very, very important. Yeah. So, uh, because when we want to, uh, if we want to go to Jannah, if we want to, uh, our, all our amal being accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, da'wah is also one of the most important things we need to do. Every one of us need to do. Yeah. So this is a little bit uh, uh, suggestion from me. Very good. Very good. I just realized that this is the longest conversation that we've had and hearing you speaking in English. Very, very bad. Very good. Very good. And whoever wants to listen to Brother Rizwan Ong speaking in Mandarin or in his Bahasa can always uh, check out his uh, content on YouTube, on TikTok. Then you can hear him speaking in uh, other languages. Okay, um, before that, I allow me to just read a comment here on Facebook by Sister Emelina. Uh, Waalaikumsalam. Tidak dapat dinafikan ramai non-Muslim masuk Islam atas dasar kawin. Dan ada juga yang masuk Islam atas pemahaman keindahan Islam. Yang kena Islam, tiada masalah tentang salah tafsir. Yang menjadi masalah adalah yang masuk Islam atas dasar perkahwinan. Tidak dapat dinafikan terdapat persepsi salah yang dikaitkan dengan akhlak Melayu dengan Islam. Impact positif adalah ada yang murtad, uh, impact negatif ada yang murtad atau jauh dari Islam. Jadi kalau boleh kita yang beragama Islam Muslim perlu bertanggungjawab dengan akhlak kita dan perbaiki diri kita mengikut ajaran Rasulullah. Alhamdulillah. Thank you, sister, for your comment. That's quite a lengthy comment. So I, if I link back to what uh, Brother Rizwan mentioned just now, it's like everyone can actually do dakwah. Okay? Just setakat, just merely with how we behave, it's already maybe seen by the non-Muslim. Okay? Silent, yeah? Silence. You don't need to say or at apa-apa hujah. But by us, how we behave, that's how non-Muslim look at Islam, as if we are the Islam, right, in the sense, in their uh, perception. So, easy in that sense that we just have to do and carry, uh, present ourselves in how Islam is uh, taught us, teaching us, right? So, thank you very much. Um, thank you, Sister Melina, and 
Azizi Sahari. Okay, faham, good feedback. Yeah, mashallah. So there's a lot of things shared and there's a lot of video to, to also to check out from Brother Rizwan's um, content. Thank you so much for sharing with us all your experience, your feedback, and also all the good works that you have done. May Allah bless you with good health, with knowledge, and also istiqamah in learning Islam. And, you know, keep on sharing more content and more knowledge with all of us, inshallah. Mm. And all the best with your book selling, your business, and everything that you do. Allah. Inshallah. Um, is there anything Haji Jamal would like to add on before we end our chit chat tonight? Yeah, uh, thank you, uh, Elin. Uh, Elin, yeah, I, I am so uh, uh, inspired by Brother Ridwan's uh, experience and uh, your dynamism. Alhamdulillah. Uh, just a quick check. Uh, I think uh, uh, Dawah is actually explaining uh, Islam to anyone. Yeah? Uh, it's incumbent on all Muslims and has rightly said uh, dakwah bilhal, dakwah by your actions, your good actions is even very powerful. Eh? Um, so Brother Ridwan used the term silence, uh, that means it's by actions rather than words. Uh, that's what I understood. Lah, yeah? yeah, yeah, correct. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so um, uh, dakwah uh, in Islam is very clear, uh, it's incumbent on uh, all of us to uh, explain uh, Islam. And why do you explain? I think it's very rightly said that it is actually to create understanding and harmony. Yeah? Uh, we cannot convert anyone because Hidayah comes from Allah SWT. We have repeated that in the Quran, it's very clear. La ikrah bedin. Tiada paksaan dalam agama. I think that is very uh, important. And we have also to show love for each other. You know, uh, beyond racial and uh, religious uh, uh, affiliations because uh, in the Quran, uh, I, I just uh, got this from a scholar uh, in, in last week's seminar on uh, Global Madani where he emphasizes, he said in the Quran, Allah SWT says he, 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 he gives the roh, his spirit to the baby on the fourth month in the mother's fetus. Yeah? Uh, so uh, every human being, it's not only for Muslims, but every uh, member of humanity is given the ruh. Yeah? So how can we not live as one uh, big humanity uh, on Mother Earth and, uh, and, and be harmonious and understand each other? I think that's, that's a big picture uh, that is, I think, very important for us now. Uh, so thank you very much. Our doa, do as uh, Sister Elaine said, for your work. I'm I'm also I'm I'm a, a corporate person, uh, engineering background. So I like the way you are working, very systematic and very strategic, and uh, uh, you, you can sh you show your passion. So Alhamdulillah, uh, we make doa to Allah Subhanahu wa uh, that uh, you will Allah will make it easy for all your marvelous uh, endeavors inshallah so again thank you very much and uh, assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh thank you very much haji jamal thank you for making time to be with us tonight and yeah so assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and i would like to say thank you to everyone who uh, spent this very short one hour with us and we look forward to seeing you in our very next episode of my journey to islam and all the way uh, from all of us, thank you very much from Axin. Thank you. Good night. Salam no, alaikum. Thank you. Salam alaikum. Salam. Salam Stop. Okay. okay. Oh. <laughs>
Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. All right. Salam Thank you, Brother Ridwan. And thank you. Nanti we go makan dekat kedai dia. Ah, kena cari lah. Ya, 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 ya. Boleh, boleh. Eh, hey, we should, Haji we should. Ya. Yeah. Ya, yeah, Haji Naman not well, macam coughing. Ah, ada coughing sikit lah.